Hey, Stewart's Chapel, this is Don Pearson and Don Counts, and we're at the church's office in the front yard here, and this is Friday's devotion, and we're in Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he who heeds counsel is wise. I, yesterday I shared with you, I've done a lot of foolish things. Uh, sometimes I haven't listened to wise counsel. Uh, it will be two years this August. It seems uh, much less than that, but it'll be two years this August that I broke my back in a four-wheeler accident. I don't think I've told you that story. and not. I think I've shared it with the church in bits and pieces. That day, I was home. I had a, in my mind a whole list of things I wanted to do on my day off. One of them was to fill my, de my deer feeder. I had the corn. I brought the four. I was on my way up to the barn to get the four-wheeler to bring it down to the garage and load it with the corn and then go up the ridge down a trail. I, was, I made it halfway to the barn when I had a, what I could, look, I've heard God speak to me so many times, I know when God is speaking to me, and that's what happened. A very strong word from God that said, not now. And at first, and, and every time, though I've heard it many times, I always do the same thing. At first, I think, oh, well, that's just me. So I keep going up towards the barn. All of a sudden, it said it again, not now. And I'm standing right next to the pigeon cage, and I decide, okay, well, I'm going to do something else. So I go down, and I do one of the other things on my list. It takes me about an hour, hour and a half. I, I finish that job, and I said, okay, I'll go up to the barn, and I'll go get the four-wheeler. So I start walking in that direction. I get almost to the same spot, and I, I hear it again, not now, not now. And so I, 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 this time it didn't take twice. This time I turned around and I went back and did what I was supposed to do. And probably another hour, maybe two hours passed. And I said, okay, I'm going to go up and get the four-wheeler. So I go up and this time I don't hear anything. I get the four-wheeler. I bring it back and um, I, I load the corn on. I strap it down. I had never strapped it down before. But... Normally, because the trail went around a ridge and it was very, very steep on a rock ledge, and that, that trail was like that too, so the four-wheeler would always be tilted downhill a little bit. And usually the, the corn would slide off and I would have to get back up and put it on, and so I had strapped it down. That ended up being my first mistake. I had six bags, that's 300 pounds of corn, strapped on to a four-wheeler plus my 200 pounds. I'm going along and I'm feeling really nervous. Uh, I don't know whether it was because God had already warned me twice, but I'm feeling really nervous. And along the way, I'm thinking, I probably don't need to be doing this. And I'm going around the curve and I get to a place, I get to a place where the, it's, a, it's even more so tilted down and there's a log a log that's about, about this big, about a four inch log that has fallen over the trail, but only on the upward hill side. It doesn't cover the whole thing. I come right up against the log and I stop. And the voice spoke to me again. Move the log. Move the log. But my lazy self would not move the log. I'm thinking, well, it's just a small log. Now remember, the trail's like this. It's already up like this, and now there's a four-inch log that's going to raise this side up four more inches. I give it some gas, and I go up on it, and when I do, when I get up on that log, it's like a catapult. That, that little bit of difference throws me, throws me, and all, all the corn shifts, and the whole thing just catapults me over. Well, see, they're rock ledges 
I'm on one rock ledge. Down about three foot is another rock ledge, and down another three foot is another rock ledge, and there's several of these. It throws me over the first one onto the back next one where there's a big rock laying in the middle, and I'm on my back, and I hit that rock with my back. Immediately, I was in pain and knew what, I had, what had happened. It seemed like it took forever, but I lean up. My feet are straight out in front of me, and I lean up. When, as soon as I get up trying to get my air, I hear something, and I look to the right, and the four-wheeler is coming, and it hits me right here and against the head, and it pins me down, and with my back, I pushed it over, and it kept going down over the ledges all the way down. It took me, there was no phone signal. It took me forever to get from there out. When I got to, I had to go all the way up the ridge to get out. So I had to go all the way up the ridge. And when I got to the top of the ridge, I had phone signal. I texted Trish and said, I'm, this is no joke. I've had an accident and I'm hurt bad. She drove from Fayetteville to the house and by the time she got to the house, which was, a, I mean, 20, 25 minutes, I'm still not to the house. I'm still creeping. I share that story with you because often when we read these passages about wise counsel, we think of others. And it is true, there is wisdom in a multitude of counselors. But the wisest counsel that you can find is from God. His word is the wisest counsel. A fool does what is right in his own eyes, the Bible says. No fool does what is right in his own eyes. His way of a fool is what is right in his own eye. He does his own fleshly desire. God loves his children. He gives us his word to direct our paths. He gives us our Holy, His Holy Spirit to direct us and inspire us in His path. But every now and then, not often, but every now and then, He'll, he'll also give us warning or He'll send Him. I've shared the story where He sent me to my, my best friend. That's happened many times where I knew I needed to go somewhere. Praying for my brother, I knew I needed to do that. Doing this, sharing with you, I believe that this is a word. That day I broke my back, it didn't have to happen. Did not have to happen. God gave me wise counsel, but I chose to follow my own eyes and do what was right in my own eyes. I will probably do that again, just like you probably will do that again. But I will never be able to point a finger at God. It is true. that there is much in this book more than enough to direct our paths to him but you know what a fool does not see God's word nor does he heed it nor does he read it to a fool this may be a book that just sits on a shelf It can be debated for a fool. But God offers us plenty of wise counsel. Next time you're getting ready to make a decision, seek the Lord. He does promise to guide His children if they'll seek His face. Love you, Sir Sheffield.